Miss Gorgeous Monica Dogra is in my pad, sitting right here, and you'll you'll soon see her. And I've made <laughs> and I've made this uh, delectable lemongrass chai for her. You should let me say it's delectable. You should. Fine. <laughs> I like I like blowing my own trumpet, but now you can blow. It actually is really quite beautiful. That's Maybe the really best, wrong. the best chai. Why did it sound wrong? I said you can blow now, but that's fine. Cheers. It's not that kind of show. Great, Cheers. but it's uncensored, and it's called the late night show. Yeah, but still, it's not. It's that not kind that kind of, of, of show. show. No. Great. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. Thank and you. I, hope that, I the, love it, and I love your sneakers. Thank you. Oh, they yeah, also look like they've never gone outside. No, I, I, I have an OCD. I really clean up a lot. Look I can clean mine. up your sneakers. Can exactly. you please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we're they, both they wearing Adidas, there. but yours yeah. look like yeah. Vanilla ice cream. Yours look As really Ranveer Singh puts clean. it, <laughs> those are vanilla ice cream. Yeah. So clean. Firstly, many congratulations, Monica. On what? On your <laughs> debut solo. Thank you. Single. Yeah. Album. Um, album. Yeah. By Universal Music. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, but so many years, you've got an experience in music. Oh, I think in the last uh, ten years. Nine. Yeah. Nine years, yeah. right? So, what took you so long to make this debut? <sighs> Insecurity. Of what? I think yeah. Just I'm I'm a pretty insecure person. Okay. Yeah. I mean, insecure person as in what? So my first four records came from the fact that I came to Bombay. I fell in love with a guy, moved in with him. Right. Day in and day out, we made music, and right. so four albums came out of that. Wow. Then we broke up. We released our fifth album, and that's Shire and Funk. That's Randolph, who a Absolutely. lot of people know. And then I started to realize, like in those five years that I was touring all over and writing the albums. Um, I also worked as a guest artist on other people's records like Karsh Kale, Ashutosh Patak. Right. Um, I toured with Anushka and Karsh when they launched their album. And I just, uh, you know, I've been on Duelist Inquiry's record. I, I've been on a lot of people's albums. Right. Gaurav Raina's Greatest Silver, Pundits, whatever. So I started to feel like this is really wonderful that I'm collaborating sure. with the world, but I also want to know who I am and and what I have to say when I stand on my own, and uh, that took me four years. Superb. Yeah. So you've been working on this album since four years. Yeah. So you've written all the yeah songs as well. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Have you seen this? I've always uh, look. I'm not promoting this documentary, but the finest documentary I've seen is mm. by Asif Kapadia, Amy. Mm. Uh, it is amazing. It's, amazing. it's so amazing. You've seen that documentary. Yeah, right? I saw it. And I feel that. And it made me so mad. It made me so. I want to hear it made you so strong. Oh, as well. It made me so mad. Mad in mad what sense? At the world, man. Like this beautiful, right. sensitive, insecure artist was, she was yeah. completely crumbling in front of an entire nation's face. Right. And all they kept doing was taking more from her, Amazing. and that makes me so fucking mad, <laughs> so mad, because hmm. it was so obvious that right. like here's this woman who just wanted people to love her, just wanted Absolutely. to write music that would, that would make people feel things, sure. and and she was, she was so pure but so confused mm. and, you know, full of addiction and full of illness and all that. Even her own family, it right, felt right. like everyone was just like, "How can I get more from her? How yeah. can I get more? How can I get more?" Until she was nothing. But she and left she was her legacy gone. behind. And I think yeah, it's, man. It's her songs there. So yeah. not right. The, like, I know it's the not. PR, publicity, press, fucking newspapers, all <laughs> idiots. Like, well, it's, it, this is a show. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna promote you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, but by the way, have I have I told you guys? You know, every time. Monica Dogra releases some glossy, bloody magazine covers. I spill my coffee or chai. Mm-hmm. Literally, it's like a, it's, it's, you know, choking me. She looks absolutely stunning. You do look. You have that in you. Oh and gosh. then the question is, okay, well, hang on. So you, you are a model. You know, you, you're an actor. Not a model. Great, but then you come across as that. You have a well. God's gifted you. Mm. Uh, that. And and it's like I sometimes know. I feel wow can't you collaborate these things together as well can't you be a part of a film which you've sung a song or you've done music direction for is that in the cards as well I would love for it to be um, 
But you see, I'm not from like I'm. You know, I'm a lot of things that India.、Uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm a lot of things that don't fit in. You、right. know, and and I don't think I've、um, completely molded myself to become what、uh, is palpable in mainstream、right. content and production. Right. So because of that, like I could really easily avoid the sun and like take antioxidants and have lighter skin, and I could easily have. Um, kind of dressed myself and packaged myself as a, a hyper feminine、um, woman,、uh, less intellectual, less、uh, vocal about her opinions.、Mm. But I never did that, and then and now, you know, I'm not 23, and it's like I don't know what to say except for I don't I don't have enough money to produce work at the level that I want to be working at, you know. Producing is very difficult. It is, and I actually asked for public funds to produce the work at the level that I、right. believe I, I should be working at, with the artists that are willing to work with me, and the whole nation kind of knows what happens. <laughs> what happened when I asked for those public funds? So it's like I don't know, man. I would love for I would love for Anurag Kashyap or for you or anyone for、right. Amir to cast me in his next film. But I also know that what everyone is doing is they're trying、mm. to get、um, as many people to pay attention to their work as possible, and that often、yeah. means like five actresses, five actors in the entire industry who are working、mm. consistently. Sure. You know, there's someone who's really taking interest. It's the dog. Can you?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's the dog. Perfect. Can he smell Monica? So、uh, there was a slight goof up. There was a dog who could actually smell Monica Dogra right upstairs above my pad, and he was barking. I don't wear perfume though. <laughs> I don't. You don't. Pheromones. I don't. It gives me headaches. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry, I, I, because I'm wearing one. No,、so. I like it on other people. I just、mm-hmm. can't wear it. Monica Dogra likes perfume on other people. How did we first meet? You smelled me, right? Yeah, Isi Miyake. Isi Miyake. Yeah. Isi Miyake. Yeah. At. She, At a, the GQ party? No, no, no. Or it was at the at the pool party、uh, in the, Juhu. At the pool party in Juhu. Yeah, there was some some pool party. At the great Ranjit, the villain's pad. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So that's how we met. We met when. Because I wrote a poem about it, Samyaki. Wow. I told you that that night. No, you didn't. It's one of those scents that just like. Hits you. I, yeah, I, that's why I get headaches when I wear. I can't wear anything scented unless it's anyway. What am I saying? <laughs> What she's trying to say is that Monica Dogra met me. People and, don't think、uh, I'm crazy enough. No, no, no. They just be like, oh, she was sniffing、no. Devansh <laughs> Patel at this.、Party. That's the introduction. That's the introduction. <laughs> she was sniffing me. The first meeting we had. Today I'm not wearing that though. It's、But、just one of those. I had a boyfriend in high school who wore a simiyaki, and great, thank you. Yeah, no, but it's one of those, right? That that really sticks in your mind. And so then I wrote a poem about it because after that, like my sense memory would activate whenever, I, even if I was walking down the street and somebody had a hint of it on them, like in New York, I would think about him instantly. And, wow! You know, hey, Pixar, are you listening? You can actually make an animated film out of it. It's a great concept. Perfume, yeah.、Right, the perfume、yeah. story. How about that? The perfume story. Yeah. So every time Monica Dogra thinks,、uh, smells, or sniffs that perfume, she goes back in the past. There you go. And moment the perfume's over, boom. Yeah. Although his memory has faded now a little bit, but I still love the scent. I I think it's like the most romantic masculine scent. Thank you. Of colognes these days. I do have that in my room right there. Yes.、Yeah. But. I'm、one. not going to take Monica Dobra in my room. That's not happening. It's not that kind of that, show. It's not that kind of show. It's called the late night show, and we are just like evening, seven o'clock. <laughs> At the risk of sounding really <laughs> cliche, I like I like、um, essential oils. Oh, I love these biscuits. I'm gonna chew and I'm gonna talk. Great. I know it's wrong, but it's not wrong. I don't give a fuck.、Awesome. I mean, it's fine. That's how human beings are, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to fake it. Now,、uh, you. <laughs> You, I want to know your first instance 
the time when you decided in your teenage years or probably even your adolescent years mm. of hey i love this mohammad rafi song oh i love this kishore kumar song mm. oh i love this you know blah 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 song which was that one indian song that you will remember for the rest of your life <laughs> that inspired you and inspired well it did inspire me actually which uh, one my dad used to like so my parents had a really nasty divorce when i was 12 and my dad used to wander around the house singing literally for like 8 years of my life dil ki arma aasoon oh lord and then he'd be like complaining wow. and crying and I'd be like Salma, dad we really need to find you a happier song <laughs> you're killing me but yeah that's a song that's that a great salma aga there are loads yeah. of songs back in the day that i love by like Lata Mangeshkar I really loved um I love this movie with I feel like Shri Devi was in it but I remember I used to crawl next to the speaker and listen to it really loud it was like uh tu na ja mere paad sha ek baad ke liye yeah ek baad to chhod ke tod ke ya main wapas aaunga मैं वापस आऊंगा ये मेरा वादा रहा हंस के मुझको समथिंग समथिंग दैट्स खुदा गवा खुदा गवा बच्चन एंड श्री देवी या एंड आल्सो माय मामा जी टॉट मी हाउ टू सिंग माय मामा जी इज एक्चुअली अ फोक सिंगर इन जम्मू एंड वाओ सो यू डू हैव द रूट्स आई डू या नाइस नाउ वी टॉकिंग या अम He taught me how to sing when I was like eight years old. Um, uh, I jee bada sita hai. Nice. Kaha shuru kaha khatam. Do you know it? Ye manzile hai kaun si? Na wo samat sake na ham. I can see this song in the Great Gatsby. Kaha shuru kaha. You want to make Isn't Fitur kind of like the Great Gats- Gatsby? It is, right? Are we talking Asian? No, no, no. Fitur is the Great Expectation. Oh. The Great Gatsby is the Great Gatsby. I don't know if people always adapt these like Will I am. Classics no, Will I. Yeah. In yeah. India, so I'm yeah. just saying, so why don't you adapt it? But then I thought, oh, somebody already no, did. No, but it's so That's nice. What in like head. Will I am adapted this song, right? The, the 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 new Great Gatsby, what is that? The film that just came out yeah, yeah. with Leonardo DiCaprio. What, that was Will I Am in a black and white uh, I don't video remember, song. But yeah. I loved it. I loved it. Bang, 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 bang. Dun 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 dun. dun. Something like that, right? Bang, 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 bang. The song. Is it called Bang, Bang? And okay. And like bang bang you shot me down. Yeah, that's bang, exactly. Bang. Yeah, so he adapted the that same yeah. song into his version. Oh. And featured in in the, the Great Gatsby. I know the old version. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Quentin Tarantino used it. Yes. In his film as well. Yes. Yeah. Wow, we're talking music. You know music is I had tweeted in the morning. I said if it were I always tweet about movies, you know. I wake up with the smell of movies not coffee. Uh-huh. And movies is my adrenaline. But I'll tell you what, if if movies is my body, music is my soul. My dad raised me, so he never let me listen to Western music. I was only I was raised on Hindi music. So if we played in Takshi right now, I would know every mo- every song from the '90s, and I pretty much know nothing from the 2000s since I moved to India. Wow! I don't know any. But so when like- I was a kid, yeah. I watched every Bollywood movie possible. I knew all the music. I was in the dance group, like you know. I and took then, Kathak for eight years, Bharatnatyam, Mohiniyattam. So, wow! Yeah, no one would guess that. And based on my see, career, and then you see her in Dobi Ghat, <laughs> like debut with Amir Khan's wife, yeah. like yeah. literally Pratik, you, yeah. and Amir Khan, the Amir Khan. I mean, yeah. what a great debut that was! Yeah? yeah, and my favorite film, one of my favorite films, David. Absolutely yeah. amazing! I loved it. I mean, yeah. me and Neil were very thick friends, yeah, and we always him. talk about yeah. the film and bitch about you. But yeah. no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I think you were you you were the finest part in David. Yeah, beautiful it was. 
Thank you. That's Did Neil tell you how we like almost clawed each other's eyes out and then we fell in love? Uh, no. We were like, no. What the? Spill how the am beans. I gonna pray? Yeah, we were. We didn't get on so well in the beginning. And then. So address that directly to Neil Nathan. Neil? Neil. Yeah. He already knows. We laugh about <laughs> it all the time. Okay. And also, we're like very publicly affectionate about yeah. one another now on the on the net because I I really genuinely respect him as an artist and as a personality. And I think like for him, he didn't really know who I was or what I did right. before David, you know. And then. And I had preconceived notions about him as well before David. And I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those who backs down from anything. <laughs> so, but when I saw him play piano yeah. or, you know, after we had a lot of really difficult scenes, like he dies, you know, I cry, I get beat up, he gets beat up, we mm -hmm. get torn apart, whatever, whatever. So we were going through it and, and slowly but surely seeing the you that exists right. under the public right. persona, you know, mm -hmm. Which is something that really sucks about our business, is that people become something that they're not, and then unless they're really conscious and aware of right. constantly going back to who they really are, you can get stuck in that, um, what do you call it? That the rut. Not not a rut. You get stuck in a projection of yourself okay. that's not real. You know, you speak, you you talking like actually, you know, it it it's, it's it happens with actresses or artists is how I would call it like you even uh, my dear colleague uh, Nargis Fakhri uh, mm -hmm. is is projected like that I mean you know because you don't come from this whole fraternity you know you, you're not born yeah. and bred here you know you're from the US she's from the US from Queen so I think their mindset especially yours is very different from what the Indian mindset would be yeah perhaps you know, like you're just thrown in right in this whole hurricane of movies that you know, you have to be a bit fake. You can't be the real you. But that's not true. No, I mean, you are. Thankfully, you, Nargis, a lot of people are the real you. Yeah. And I like that about, I mean, yeah. that's, that's, that's what makes you, In fact, I think if you, more right? people were real, uh, they would be a lot more likable. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. I've got something for you. Yeah. Well, Who said cut? Airplane. Cord. That means we can't fart on the show as well. Why? Um, no, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Is that rolling? Did that roll? Yep. I spoke about farting on the show. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, but it still has to be edited. What, the fart? Yeah. No way. Did you fart? Is Are that you why crazy? You no farted. way. No, I didn't fart. Are you he mad? Farted. It smells of lemongrass, not my fart. Okay, listen. I've got a smells surprise. Like I've got, a, I've got a surprise for you. What? Uh, now can we talk? Great. I've got a surprise for you, what? Monica. Uh, it's right behind you. You have to get up and and, and behind the wardrobe, the white wardrobe. Behind the white wardrobe. Yeah, there's a nice down, cellophane down, right. red. Yeah. Guy. That's yours, sweetheart. What did you get me? It's for the keeps. That's so sweet. Come on now. You need to wrap it up fast. No, I mean unwrap it fast. Sorry. Unwrap it fast. Okay. Yo -ho! So the person who's made this, hang on, is a dear friend of mine from Bangalore. Curiosity. And the company is called Curiosity Kills the Cat, which means that in each of her artwork, there mm. is a small cat's bum and the tail hidden, which you will have to find later because if the you tail take, is hidden. Well, there's a bit of the backside of the of the cat. Okay. Is always hidden in the. Ah, painting. hidden in the paint. Yes. Now can, can I? Can I see? Yes. That's for you. Wow! Hey, shine! Oh, let's have Pink Floyd. Yes, it is. <laughs> ten on ten. Wow, this is lovely. Sorry. There you go. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, right over there. This one. This one. You have to see it like close up though, because <laughs> you can't really. That's no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Staring at it. But. Thank, thank you. your friend. This is yeah. Address it to Reshmi. That's Reshmi. Reshmi, thank you so much. You like Reshmi's it? Reshmi's in Bombay. I in love Bangalore. it. You know, I, I'm building an altar. Okay. Like a non-denominational altar for me to meditate at. 
Lovely. And this will be great to put at the altar. Brilliant. Because Pink Floyd, they're just, they are gods. They are. Mm-hmm. And what a journey Pink Floyd's, like, I mean, the band. Mm-hmm. How did they start as, you know, they're absolutely amazing. I watched a documentary about them and it was really, really beautiful. And actually a lot of the artists, like around that time. Right. Even, oh, it's just really sad how many people are dying. Isn't it? Hey, look, I mean, that's the nature of life. I mean, you're born to die, right? Yeah, but I mean, think yeah. about it. In like, in 70 years yeah. or 60 years, the heroes of today, yeah. are people going to be crying for like Justin Bieber? And Yeah, there are. There, there is a fan that. club, Monica Dogra. You have a fan club, Monica. Yeah, but... You know, and people who see, even if it... I, for me, I don't think... And I like Justin Bieber's album. I'm just Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just saying that any artist, I'm assuming, right? Uh, they have like the, the recent David Bowie, of course, he's a he's a you know demigod. But yeah. I'm just saying that even for an artist like you, whoever little bit of fan club that you have, who religiously follow your work, they'll never forget you, whether you are alive or you're dead. It doesn't matter for for them. You are an inspiration. And for them, that inspiration comes from your work. You are giving it back to them through your work. And I think that's the respect that you achieve. That's why they are fans. Fans just doesn't mean like slit a wrist and write a bloody letter in blood and, you know, uh, people who don't get married just want to get married to you. No. Uh, yes, there are those crazy fans, especially actors have them. But genuinely, people who follow your work are your true fans. And it's so good. I mean, you are not doing music for them. Of course, you're doing it for for your own thing, which is subconsciously. It's more like the the aroma that spreads mm. through your music that they are kind of you know getting it, and they're getting used to it. So enough of the uh, lecture. Uh, Monica Dogra will uh, transfer the payment in my account. Mm-mm. Okay, I wanna. Okay, so this is my collection, Monica, and I love collecting. Toys again. This is not that kind of toys, uh, <laughs> but I want to know. Okay. I want to know which of these animated uh, action heroes or, or comic book heroes or animation movie heroes you relate to. I really relate to um, to Batman. Oh, the Batman. Okay. Yeah. Can you see Batman? You, you have your cape. Yeah, I have my cape. Monica Dogra has her cape today. Yeah. And I really relate to this guy. I forget what oh, this the, guy's the, name the, the is. Why? Uh, what's it called? The Wazwinku, Warwingzing, Wazwinki. Is that Something what it is? Like Wazwinki. Yeah. Oh, whatever. And right? he yeah. found like a, one of those one voices, eye. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he have that voice? Yeah, he has. Wazwinki. Yeah. Um, because everybody gets him wrong. He's such a friendly, sweet dude. Yeah. But actually, yeah, yeah. Why Batman is because Batman actually has no superpowers, but oh. um, but he is considered to have. You think you will be able to put that? But he's so like, brave, and he's it. so um, yeah, he is, and he's so smart that he figures stuff out. So I I hope to be like Batman. I wouldn't say I am like Batman. Well, she looks like bloody Catwoman. How about you? Oh me? Yeah. Um, I relate to. Oh, good question. I relate to minions. I was going to say that. You know why? Because... (laughs) But it's like, that might be me. (laughs) Because I talk shit. People sometimes don't understand what I talk. Uh, And uh, I have a bit of a weird ass uh, mentality. So, yeah, minions would be. And I love, love, love bananas. So, that's why. Do you? Yeah. yeah. You love bananas. I do. Who would you want to be born as from the music fraternity if... I was to pose that question to you. I think I would want to be Tom York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's alive and he's a dude, but you know. <laughs> but? I think I'd want to be Tom York. Hmm. Nice. I think he's one of the best songwriters, composers in the world. Okay, so now that the yeah. Oscar season is coming as well, I mm-hmm. want to know from you. Who do you think is going to take the best song? I mean, my favorite is Sam Smith. I don't know why. I just love writings on the wall. No. I don't know. I honestly Tough? don't know. Yeah, because I haven't heard enough. I know that's terrible. What about Fifty Shades of Grey? I really that haven't. Song. 
uh, what is that song that's nominated? Oh God, I forgot. I really like the um, the cover of Crazy in Love by that chick. Beyonce. Yeah, but that Beyonce chick. doesn't sing it. It's another girl who sings this like ballad version of Crazy in Love. No, it's in Beyonce sings that. Shades of Grey. No, it's another girl. I kind of. Oh, you must have just YouTube some random video. No. Are you sure it's in the film? The slow yeah. song. The slow. Yeah. That's Beyonce. Yeah, that's Beyonce. So then I heard a different girl singing it. Unless we can Google it on an iPhone yeah. or whatever. Yeah, whatever. That version is Amazing. beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I'm singing it at my friend's wedding tomorrow. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, and I honestly felt like a little embarrassed to admit how much I really love Justin Bieber's new album. Hmm. I actually think it's fucking great. You know, I was great. I was born in that era of the band boy bands. You know, there mm-hmm. was, I mean, so many of them. Like, uh, what is that? Back for Good, mm-hmm. uh, that song I love. Even uh, God, I mean, Words. Mm-hmm. What are those bands? Boy Zone. Yeah, Boy Zone. And uh, uh, my, I mean, they're amazing I songs. I used to like. I really. You think the band culture is dead now? Like, there's just it's dead. I like, don't no know, one wants to Didn't Coldplay just release a new album? Yeah, but that's as well? Coldplay. Hello. Yeah. I'm saying in India, mm. you think you know there was a there was an era uh, back in the 90s that people used to collaborate a lot, like Silk Route. I mean, where do you think Mohit Chauhan comes from? Yeah. You know, so I think uh, it was that era when people used to collaborate together uh, for the because what I think what drives them. Is the passion for music? I think now what drives them is publicity and money. Yeah. And that's killing our music industry. What do you think? Yeah, I don't want. To, like I said, yes, and then I was like, maybe I shouldn't say yes. No, of um, it it's become selfish, right? Like we all needy. Like, okay, hang on, only I want to do this. I'm not sure that there are too many people who are excited to make art anymore. I think that I, but I think it's hard. You know, it's like. Every human being has within them like their purest self and then their impurest self, and we're all kind of battling those two, right? right. It's like Batman and the Joker, um, but in one body. Right. And it's like I think it's tough when you're a creative. Usually, right. you are also instilled with this hypersensitivity towards how many people like you, how many people acknowledge you, and how many people love you. And that can, if you uh, kind of secede to your weaker self, then if that becomes the guiding force, then of course your art gets lost, you know. But if if you're strong enough to realize that, you know, yes, it is wonderful when people really love you and when everyone knows your name, um, but that's not why anybody who's ever really kind of changed the landscape of art and culture in the world. None of those people were governed by wanting people to like them or love them or know them. Wow. You know, and that's like that's the hard part. I mean, I I'm sad all the time because I feel like I wish more people did know me or, or liked me or whatever. You're a good talker, you know that. You're a good orator. <laughs> Donald Trump, get the hell out, man. I mean, <laughs> why are you standing for elections? Monica Dobra for Dobra president. For president. The POTUS. Oh gosh. The POTUS thing, yeah. You've got a great, uh, you know, you know, you, your beauty is enhanced by the nose ring that you're wearing as well. Thank you. Is that just a temporary or like permanent? No, I mean it's a hole. Oh, it is. It's not yeah. like stuck on. Okay, yeah. but you get those ones as well, the ones. Just, but oh no, don't. What See, I'm pulling it. Yeah, okay, you. no, you don't. You look good. <laughs> you look good like that. So tell me more about uh, your movies. You have called it a full stop to them, or you are reading scripts. I'm reading scripts. I signed a film. Uh, I have a film coming out, Tera Sur, I think in March, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that one is. Uh, I'm in an ensemble cast with Himesh Reshamia, Shekhar Kapoor, Kabir Bedi, and uh, oh, Nasiruddin yes. Shah. Yeah. Um, and a newcomer named Farah. Uh, sorry, yeah, Farah Karimi. Um, and then I'm also in a film that's meant to go on the floors. We're, we were meant to start shooting now, but because of Gaia, it's been delayed. Okay. Uh, Vijayita films a film called Jungles with Bobby Deol. 
back in the days when even Soraya as an actress used to sing in black and white movies. Uh, I don't know who that is. Okay, great. She was a yesteryear actress and a singer. Okay. Uh, and back in the 50s and 60s, the actors used to sing themselves. Yeah. You know, it's just a lip sync came way back later. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you think even actresses now that uh, are turning singers like Alia Bhatt and Shraddha Kapoor mm-hmm. and now Sonakshi Sinha. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah, are yeah. They? they are, they are. That's great. Are you sure that's not sarcasm? No, I didn't know. Okay, I mean, Shraddha I knew. I've heard because of her first. Right. Because of Ashki, right? Yeah. And she's great. But I didn't know she Sonakshi. She sang in Ek Villain. That was okay. the first. Uh, okay. The, the slow rendition of Galia. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, so now these actresses are turning singers as well. You you, you feel you should also lend a voice every film that you do? And you try to discuss this with your director? Uh, I never did. But now I'm like, yeah, I would like to. I think also I've heard that from people that a lot of people just assume that I can't or I wouldn't be open to singing in Hindi. Given the fact that I have released five records of a very specific style, mm-hmm. you know, it's all like electro rock, drum and bass. It's quite hard. People know me as like a headbanger, you know. So, okay. like opening up people's minds to the fact that I can sing other styles is something I am doing now, and I think it's wonderful. I think it's quite natural that actors sing and that singers act and that dancers yeah. sing and that dancers act. I mean, because all of these, I, I often talk about the Bharata, Natya, Shastra, the, like we are taught these forms as inclusive, you know? Sure. Like we're meant to learn other, like as a director, you right. should also be a writer. As a writer, you should be a cameraman. You should know these things yeah. so that you're like really strong at what you come come out with, you know? So I do think it, Farhan, he sings, Aditya Roy Kapoor sings oh, wonderfully. Sing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, I always give him shit for the fact that he doesn't, because he's, he even writes music. And that's, wow. that's the Aditya Roy Kapoor that I knew, you know, before he has blown up the way that he has. And I'm so happy for him. But he's an amazing songwriter. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I would love to so, sing more for film. So coming back to your latest uh, Universal mm-hmm. Music project. Uh, wow, it's, it, this is a bit... Is this your most ambitious thing that you're coming out with now? Uh, it aims to be. Yeah? Yeah, it aims And, and this be. won't be just a one-off thing, right? You're looking at other collaborations with Universal Music or you're talking with other music labels as well? Um, no, Universal So Universal ca- came from the fact that I was a judge on the stage. Dave Raj was a judge on the stage. The he, uh, no, no, sorry. The stage. Uh, yeah, the stage. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. It's okay. And the stage was actually really well received on Colors Infinity. And then Dave Raj and I became good friends. I told him I had been sitting on this solo album for over a year. And he was like, dude, I'll release it. I was like, okay, great. So that happened. Um, I also had a tough year, you know, like Mm -hmm. I, I launched that crowdfunding campaign. I kind of felt what I think famous people feel all the time, which I had never, I had felt maybe a little bit, but not the way that I had felt it you know right you know what i mean yes i know and like everybody talks about you like you're not a person to them or just a commodity like a product. yeah like like a product you know people talk about somebody's weight or somebody's nose job or you know okay or someone's come now just look at his shoes and then look at my shoes like his shoes are they're so you see, sparkly you see, if you see the master camera, camera and, and if you see a girl showing you uh, her shoes uh, a man like me wouldn't really stare at the shoes or something else. Just look at my shoes. and <laughs> They're really dirty. Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. And yours are like, that's unreal. Yeah, okay, fair enough. You can give them to me. It's, uh, they look good on you. Thanks. Okay, last question to you, yeah, Monica Dobra. I know you seem too tired because I don't put the AC on. For you. I'm not tired. You aren't? Do I seem tired? No. Okay. So, so we've been planning this interview for a long, long time. Yeah. Uh, Monica Dobra is a very busy woman. You're uh, very busy. And, uh, no, I'm, I just interview people. I mean, that's what I've been doing for 14 goddamn years. So this is the first and it won't be the last for Monica as well. Uh, she's the most humble person I've met. She has no airs about, you know, the whole fame game that, she, you know, people normally play. Uh, she loves the music. She loves the perfumes. That's why I've got the Yusimiyake, uh inside. And 
There's one thing that nobody knows about Monica Dobra. She's the only woman who can pull off a bloody goddamn hat. <laughs> so you look gorgeous. Bloody goddamn hat. Bloody goddamn hat. Yeah. <laughs> but this is awesome. I love your styling. Thanks. And you so, style yourself? Yeah. See, there you go. So clearly you don't need... I just need... get dressed. <laughs> this is awesome. It just feels that you've right come from Goa or somewhere from the remote mm. island right mm. over here in my pad. Mm -hmm. Thanks for gracing the show. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You haven't had uh, any cookies or stuff like that. You would. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Wait, hold on. You'll have to give a bite. Hi, I'm Monica Dobra, and you're watching The Late Night Show with Devansh Patel.